We turn now to a developing story. Hollywood police are investigating a shooting between two neighbors. Officers say they arrived near the 5400 block of Taft Street where they found a man shot. He was taken to Memorial Regional Hospital. Well, Christmas has passed as quickly as it arrived, but many people are still wrapping up their holiday vacations. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo reports live from Miami International Airport, where she spoke to some travelers today. Jessica, what did they say? That's right, Carly. Well, take a look at Miami International Airport right now because it's actually not as packed as we saw it the day before Christmas. But a spokesperson from the airport did tell us they do expect the vast majority of people to travel on New Year's. And if you are traveling, they still urge you to wear a mask and to please social distance. The holiday rush continues with New Year's nearly upon us. Travelers are racing to get to their destination. We're traveling away from Miami. We have been here for six, six nights. Aria from New Jersey says she's heading home to be with her family, but it was her first time traveling during the pandemic. And I've been working like from home the whole year and it was just, you know, I needed to get away. But with traveling, she says she has kept COVID in mind. And the, the only scary part was the airplane, you know, and uh, but we tested for COVID like before we come here and it was like negative and then we were in mask and like hand sanitizer all the time. About 140,000 people are expected to travel through both South Florida airports on New Year's. Jaime Jefez from Mexico says it will be the first time he sees his family since the pandemic began. Came to spend the holidays with my family. And while he says he felt safe flying. I feel very safe. People <laughs> having the mask. Health experts are pleading with people to pass on travel this year. I would look at the 300,000 Americans who are not here with us, um, whose Christmas dinners are going to be empty, looking at those empty chairs. I am terrified of what we're going to see after the holidays from based on what I'm seeing now. And again, a spokesperson from the airport does say they've seen between 70 to 75,000 passengers. But again, if you are traveling for the holidays, the medical experts do urge you to wear a mask and to continue to social distance. I'm live in Miami, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News. Jessica, thanks for that live report.